Hey, this is Philip Bellis, and I am going to show you uh, the Trick GS007 snare strainer. Um, what I like about this snare strainer is uh, just the, the one fluid motion to turn it on and off. Um, also, it has um, it's the multi-step, so it's the uh, it stops at three separate positions, and uh, you know I think it's the best strainer on the market right now and that's why we put them uh, on PLS drums and I will show you I'll demonstrate a little bit of how this works uh, but yeah so open sound here's the loose snare sound then you got a little bit more snare and uh, also whenever you're turning the knob it actually has points at which it will stop so instead of uh, you know so, for example I use some of the other uh, it's a, it's an s10 strainer it's, it's a lot like the Ludwig uh, p85 I believe and the problem with that one is this top knob where you adjust the actual tension of the snare wires sometimes uh, can just vibrate and turn itself where the snares will be completely off and so there are some solutions to that problem but I think Trick came up with a great solution by putting uh, just little ball bearings that it uh you know every little bit of a turn it, it actually has a stopping point and uh, again, I'm going to demonstrate with an even looser snare sound just the, uh, the different sounds that the snare can produce. So open. Here's very loose. Which I'm not going to play with that. Here's pretty loose. Again, I probably wouldn't ever play with that. Here's full contact, but full contact for this setting is very loose. Okay, I'm going to just give it one turn. Go back down. One more turn. And this... about where I would play it at. I might just go a tiny bit tighter. And that's the trick GS007 multi-step strainer. Uh, it's, it's an incredible little piece of hardware that we throw on our drums. And you can get it from plsdrums.com.